Hi, everybody. I have a chalk drawing to share with you today. We are working out of this book called Ancient Egypt Drawing Book by Ralph Masiello. We picked it up from rainbowresource.com, and today we're going to be drawing the royal wife, Queen Nefertiti, for our Ancient Egypt unit study. So I apologize for part of this video, or rather most of it. I am kind of blocking the camera, and I was doing about six chalk drawings on our mounted chalkboard on the wall and I wasn't paying attention very much where I was positioning the camera and in the future I will be more mindful of that. So I've got the book in one hand. It, this is a drawing book that shows you step-by-step -step instructions on how to draw some of the things that you would do like in an ancient Egypt unit study and I am trying to follow it really closely. I don't know how to draw so this book is really coming in handy. I can copy fairly well but what was funny was that when I opened up the book to copy this I was only looking at the last four drawings. I missed the first like 20 steps in this whole drawing process, but that's okay. In the end, it turns out just fine. I do uh, use kind of a brown color for the skin tone. I'm working on a chalkboard, so obviously this is different than working on a piece of paper. And so in I... I feel like she ends up looking a little bit more African versus Egyptian, but other than that, I copy the book fairly closely. So to begin the process, I outline it all in white, and then I come back in with my different colored chalks. I'm using Sargent Art, uh, what are they called? Pastels? Chalk pastels. Sorry about that. And I'm using a ch the mounted chalkboards that I have on the wall are from waldorfsupplies.com, and so are the chalks. And so when you're, when you come back in with color, you end up kind of distorting where your white lines were so you kind of have to come back in and do that that stuff again and then at the very end after I've got like all the color where I want it then I come back in with a black chalk and that really allows all the details to kind of pop and the whole chalk drawing to come to life so that's a couple of tips that if you're trying this out that you might consider so when we're done with this my boys were so impressed they really loved the way it turned out while my five-year-old daughter said that the book looked better than the chalk drawing, which it does, but still, I think in the end it all turned out okay. And I came back in and I fixed her chin a little bit. I thought it was not quite great the first time around, but that was off camera. But in this picture, you can see the side by side of the picture and the drawing. And this is my fourth grader's work. My eighth grader had not finished his drawing by the time I did this video. And if you'd like to see some of the other chalk drawings in this series, you can click on the screen right now. And if you'd like to see more pictures, you can follow along on Instagram at Pepper and Pine. Thanks for watching. Thank you.